This trail hasn't changed in thousands of years. You know, I'm sharing that trail with Indians and with ancestors and with people that went out there to find gold. Life is very simple out there. You move forward, you eat and you drink, and you keep moving forward and you try to stay warm. It's all about the risk you want to take. How willing are you to spend the rest of your life without your fingers? Or have those that you love spend the rest of their lives without you? because that's the consequences of not being prepared out here. I think that's kind of the draw of Alaska, is there's that challenge of, of trying to feel like you've got some sort of control, and you don't. You manage the cold right, and it's a wonderful place in the wintertime. You manage the cold wrong, and it kills you. Frank's not doing great. His chest is bad. <laughs> Having someone tell you in your little nowhere that they can't feel their toes is really hard to describe exactly how frightening that was. I heard reports of negative 40 on the trail. There's still people out there? There's gonna be people out there for the week coming here. It's rough. <laughs> Probably I could use the company. It is hell on earth. This is the worst I've ever seen it out here. I'm extremely nervous about just leaving here. I don't know if it'll take me two days or five days. I just know I gotta keep on marching forward. I totally felt like I walked across a chunk of the earth which is a weird feeling.